Hello, Phyllis. Oh, hello, Mrs. Ewing. Is J.R. in his office? Uh, yes, he is, but, um... Say, I'll get back to you. Mama! What brings you here? Sit down, J.R., where I can see you and get your brother in here. Oh. Well, uh, something better. Now, J.R. Okay. Bobby? Yeah? Mama's in my office. She wants to talk to both of us. Could you come in here a minute, please? I'll be right in. <clears throat> Mama? J.R., what's going on? Sit down, Bobby. I want to talk to you and J.R. Sure. I, I always thought that no matter what happened, I'd always stand by my family. It was always that way with the Ewings. It was always the family against all outsiders. We always stuck up for each other. Even when we knew we were wrong. But no more. It's gone too far. And I, I won't defend either of you any longer. I can't. Mama, what do you mean? I've, uh, I've thought about this a lot. And believe me, this is one of the hardest things that I've ever had to say. But as far as I'm concerned, you two don't deserve to own your wing oil. Mama, well, this is Daddy's company you're talking about. Don't you ever, ever speak his name in front of me again. You dishonored his name and his company. And I guess that's, that's what hurts me the most. Because your daddy would have been so ashamed of you. I know he would. Because I, uh, I sure as hell am. Well, Mama, I know you're upset, but can't we talk this over? I have nothing more to say. You're both on your own now. And as far as Ewing Oil goes, it should have died with your daddy. It would have saved us all a lot of trouble.